Hi, my name is Brian Sarmiento from Bosch E-Bike Systems Americas. I am the OE sales manager for Bosch E-Bikes and part of my responsibility is selling the Bosch E-Bike Systems to OE bicycle companies. Yeah, the, the first tour I did was from our office in Irvine all the, out, all the way out to Interbike in Las Vegas, Nevada. That was about two years ago. Then last year we rode from Irvine to Reno for Interbike again and now this is the third tour from Bosch from our new office in Lake Forest to Monterey, California. Yeah, I rode the Gazelle Citizen Speed. It's a 28 mile per hour pedal assist e-bike. It uses the Bosch Performance Line Speed. And on this bike, it has the Intuvia display on it, but I actually used a Kobe bike, which uses your smartphone as the main display. And one of the reasons for that was because of the connectivity I had between the phone, my helmet, and also had maps on there. The, the helmet connectivity is from Senna, and it helps, it's by Bluetooth, and it helps connect you and the other rider that I was with via Bluetooth, and also connects me to my phone. So I could answer phone calls in my helmet, but at the same time I could communicate with the other rider so we could ride in tandem and, and be safe instead of having to shout over each other's shoulder or for example, if he is far behind me, if he has a mechanical issue, he could just say, hey, slow down, I have, there's an issue here, or I, I, or I have to stop. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So I think this is by far the most uh, innovative thing, when, besides riding the e-bike, that I would do on a tour is also have connectivity. Yeah, on the open road, on the flats, you're pedaling about 21. And I, that's where I'm comfortable at. And I was, most of the time I'm riding in sport mode. Conserve battery, it it's, gives a lot of pedal assist, a very comfortable ride. I had bags and I stuck the extra battery uh, in the Pan A bags that I had on here. It's not on the bike now, but I had a Pan A bags. Uh, this trip from our office to Monterey was five days, roughly about 80 to 90 miles a day. Uh, I had three. So each battery on sport mode, it's a 500 watt hour battery. We are doing about 35 miles per, per battery. I think the biggest challenge was coming out of Cambria, we had a 45 mile per hour headwind and we were only doing 10 miles per hour in turbo mode. And that was mentally challenging. Of course, if you stick the bike in an easier gear, the bike is easy to pedal, but mentally having this wind hit you so hard it, it was very draining. Riding through Big Sur, there was no Wi-Fi, there's no connectivity out there, we had no cell phone range. Our goal was to leave at 6.30 a.m. in the morning and for three hours there was no cars out there and we had all Big Sur to ourselves. So we could just take up the whole road and relax and not worry about cars trying to hit us. Uh, some tips, just find a comfortable bike and plan stops along the way so it doesn't feel as long. You know, there was some chatter about Interbike being an outdoor retailer in Denver. That's a 1,400 miles from where our office is, and it's in November. But I, I don't think that's going to happen. It's a long time to be on the road in the snow, probably going to, to Denver. But uh, right now, maybe Monterey again. I got a lot of friends that are interested in riding to the event, which should be the case. Uh, so hopefully we have a bigger group next year. Cool. Bosch E-Bike Systems on Instagram okay. is the best way to follow. Or also ch check out our Facebook page. For Facebook, it's Bosch Bike USA. Okay. Perfect. Great. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.